Yo, what's up guys? Uh, Neon Fox here. Welcome to this more serious video. Um, yeah, since my last video, the PewDiePie vs. T-Series, um, I've seen some backlash from uh, a few guys. And um, I wanted to talk about that a bit. I wanted to say, like, sorry if I offended anyone with my last video. It was not my intention. Because uh, some of them didn't know it was actually kind of a joke video. And they took it way too serious. And uh, I think that kind of defeated the point of the video. Because it was actually to show how ridiculously uh, YouTube was becoming. And the shit was going on. I wanted to talk about it, but I wanted to talk about it in a joke kind of way. But people didn't really understand it. They actually thought I was really attacking India or something, or attacking the population, which I wasn't at all. I wanted to talk about it a bit more, and actually give my opinion about what is going on right now. So first of all, yes, T-Series will most likely take over PewDiePie's most subscribed spot in about November or October somewhere. And uh, yeah, I dislike that as a content creator. And here's why. It's just the reason, it's not because it's T-Series, it's not because it's it's from India. That's not at all. It's because it's a faceless corporation, which defeats the whole point of YouTube. Channels like that should stay on television, where they most likely originated from. And I think that it should be that way. YouTube should be a place for individuals to create content for each other. It, that's what started YouTube in the first place. Just a site where people could upload stupid, random, funny videos and share them with the world. And not a place for television 2.0 or something, which is happening right now. Look at the YouTube in 2012, the golden age of YouTube. You didn't see a single corporation. Like, you, you saw a few, of course. But the big channels like Smosh, PewDiePie, Minecraft channels, I don't even know. Those were all individuals. They made their own content, they most likely edited their own content, and they cared about their growth. And of course the corporation care about their growth, but that's the only thing they care about. Growing. Like for you, like an individual, if you support a corporation, they don't care about you. At all. They will never make a video like, thank you for 16 million subscribers, or thank you for number one most subscribed channel on YouTube. They will never. They don't care. Why would they? Like, you are only a bag of money for them. Like, with every view you give, they don't care at all. So why would you support them? Because most Indian people think people are criticizing T-Series for like, oh, it's Indian, they don't hate it, they don't like our culture or something. No, that's not it at all. The videos from T-Series are highly produced. They are, they are probably extremely, like, fun to watch if you understand them but from a content creator perspective it's like it's kind of shitty because you put all this time and effort into making videos and trying to make them funny and do your best and then you see a faceless corporation with like a thousands employees just skyrocketing away like it's not really that fair is it they produce like five high quality videos per day and you can only like make mediocre cringy shit videos once every three days or something I mean of course if you make YouTube into your job you, do, you could actually produce way more but this isn't something to criticize T-Series about because I know why they did this but that isn't the point it's that YouTube should stay a place for single people that sounded weird. It should be a place for lonely content creators to make shitty videos that people enjoy watching. And I mean, people can enjoy T-Series. But it's just not the same. It's, it's unfair, actually, I think. And I think corporations in general should stay out of YouTube. Like the late night shows from Jimmy Cannell or something. I don't even care. Or why? Why is it... Why does YouTube even allow this? Why is why is YouTube supporting this in the first place? 
Like, I understand, because YouTube doesn't care about the content creators since 2014. They just care about money. Which is highly understandable, because YouTube isn't, like, a profitable site at the moment. So why wouldn't they care about making the most money? It's just people are moving on from YouTube this way. YouTube is keeps getting shittier and shittier. And with a faceless corporation taking the number one spot. Without having, like, uh, people to look up to, like... Now they have to look up like a faceless corporation, which they can never be, unless they have like a few million dollars. It's unfair as shit. So uh, I think it's highly time we start finding an alternative to YouTube. Like I'm, I, I'm good with Twitch or something. Like we need something else, guys. This isn't clear. This clearly isn't working. We need something to personalize our shit. We need something, a site that listens to our, like, demands? I don't know. It wants to help us at least. Which YouTube clearly isn't doing since 2012. Well, yep, that, that was kinda it. I just wanted to talk about it. But, yeah. That was it? Okay. See you guys later.